Just your first impression. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, very good. Tell me about this. And cave people. Mm-hmm. Look down at your feet and tell me if you see that you have feet. I have feet that are big mm -hmm. and ugly. Big and ugly, okay. <laughs> are you male or female? It's hard to tell because there's two people. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I want you to focus on yourself. So you feel... I would say I'm a man. You're a man? Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. Are you wearing anything? Like cave clothes. Mm -hmm. And um, we're scraping on the rocks. Mm -hmm. You were scraping on the rocks? Mm -hmm. What are you scraping? To make a fire. Okay. And who's with you? A female. Mm -hmm. And we're grunting. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? She has like a s skirt made out of some material. Mm -hmm. Is it a skin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else is she wearing? Like a hula, like a bikini top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're squatted. Mm -hmm. So I want you to connect telepathically. And let's see what's going on. What happens now after you're scraping? They're hungry. Mm -hmm. Are you watching as an observer? Or are you in the body of the man? Watching. Okay. Are you in that place too? No. Mm -hmm. Where are you watching from? I don't know if it's heaven. Mm hmm. Do you feel like you have a body? Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I want you to observe yourself and see if you can, if you feel that you have a physical body or if you can float around. Yeah, I'm floating. I have there. like wings. Okay, good, good. So as you float around, you say you have wings. Describe yourself to me. Like a fairy or an angel. Mm -hmm. Are you small or big? Mm. What's your first impression? Do you feel like you're smaller than these people or bigger? Um, same size. Same size. Mm -hmm. And you say you have wings? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're male or female energy? Female. Female. Very good. So I want you to acclimate yourself in that body, that winged being there. And tell me how you feel. Is it a physical body? Um, or a celestial body? Celestial. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like curious, just like floating around observing. Mm -hmm. What do you think that your function is there? Just to see how things are. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens in that scene. What happens after they're scraping for fire? She's pointing at something. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is. It's another person. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Another cave person. Mm -hmm. Is it a male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of trees now. Mm -hmm. so describe this place for me. What does it look like? It's just open and like gravelly sand on the ground and um, 
it's not much around. Mm -hmm. As you're looking at this scene, can you feel the emotions from these people? They're just hungry. Mm -hmm. Kind of like in survival mode. Okay. So what do you feel that your role is in this place? To see if they're safe and if I could help them. Okay, so let's see how you help them. I want you to advance the scene to see how it is that you get involved with them. I made an animal appear that they ended up killing to eat. Mm -hmm. What kind of animal was it? Like a boar or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Good that I helped them. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's go to another scene where you're that same person. Close that scene behind you and travel through time to another time when you're doing something. And tell me where you are. I'm watching a woman Swim in a pool. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this woman. What does she look like? Black hair, very pretty. It's like a pool in a in a mansion. Mm -hmm. Are you close to her or far away? Well, I'm in the air. Mm -hmm. Close, but and I'm small this time. Mm -hmm. How small are you? Tiny, like a fly. Mm hmm So what happens? She drowned. And it made me sad. Mm-hmm. Like she just got pulled under the water. What did you have to do with this woman? Just watch her die. Mm -hmm. So I want you to stay there and see what happens after she dies. What happens to her spirit? It's like her body comes to the surface and then her spirit was sucked up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Um, I guess, uh, you mean her being sucked up or mm -hmm. the dying? Mm -hmm. Both. The dying is sad, that's why I'm crying now. Mm -hmm. And, um, the sucking up, I guess, was just, uh, Weird, because I never saw that before. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Is this woman that drowned anyone that you know? One minute I said, I don't think so, but then in another I said that the word aunt came. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which aunt do you feel it is? Just the name Ant came up? Yeah. Very good. All right. Let's close that scene. And let's now move to another scene where you're seeing another interesting experience, something that affected you. A dog running. Mm -hmm. Happy. In a park. Really fast dog. Those racing dogs. Mm -hmm. And where are you? This time I'm uh, a human girl sitting on a bench. Okay. And the dog runs to his owner. A guy. Mm-hmm. And the dog jumps all over him and he's really happy. And are you observing this? Or are mm -hmm. you the little girl? Well, I'm on the bench observing. Mm-hmm. But I'm not a little girl. I'm, You're just observing on the bench. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm an adult. 
Okay. And how do you look like in that scene? Um, like this day and age, regular clothes, mm -hmm. work clothes, it's sunny out, tall buildings. And who do you look like? Just a girl. Just a girl. Okay. A woman, I mean. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this woman. What do you feel from her? She's smart. Mm -hmm. Dresses kind of boring. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, skinny. Good posture. Mm -hmm. She just likes to observe people. Mm -hmm. What is she doing in this park? Just people watching. Mm -hmm. She has her hands crossed on her lap. She's wearing pants. She's on her lunch break. Okay. Do you feel that this is a modern time? Mm-hmm. All right. So let's follow this life and see what happens to her. I want you to follow her and see what's the next significant scene in her lifetime. She gets up and goes to a store to get pizza. Mm-hmm. And she feels uncomfortable eating it. Mm -hmm. Why is that? And embarrassed. Because she, um, she just doesn't feel comfortable eating fattening food. Mm -hmm. She's very conscious of her weight? Mm -hmm. She's just, it's just been a, a thing from her past of, she just never felt comfortable eating. Food. Okay. okay, all right. So let's move her ahead to see what happens with this woman. Fast forward. She's a grandma. Mm -hmm. She's old, but she's happy. Heavy. Mm -hmm. we'll take her to the last day of her life. She's in a coffin. Mm -hmm. And people are seeing her, you know, coffins open. Mm -hmm. And where is her spirit? Um, in the coffin. Mm -hmm. It hasn't detached from the body yet? Mm -mm. Okay. So let's see what happens to this woman. Where does she go? Where does her spirit go? I want you to follow her spirit. Seems to stay in the coffin. Mm-hmm. And people are looking at her, feeling sorry for her, and nodding their head. Mm -hmm. And can you connect with this woman's spirit? No, because it just seems like dead. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can connect with her. I'm going to count from one to three. When I do, let's connect with her spirit. I'm going to touch her forehead, and you'll speak as that woman. One, two, and three. Good evening. Can you tell me what happened to you? Why did you die? Heart attack. Heart attack. Mm -hmm. Was this caused by something that you, maybe you ate or stress? Just bad eating. Bad eating. Mm -hmm. Not taking care of myself. Okay. And what may I call you? What's your name? Melissa. Melissa. Melissa, after you passed away, what happened to your spirit? Just didn't go anywhere. It stuck. Mm-hmm. And when was it that you found Tara? See, I was going to say 1966, but mm -hmm. Tara wasn't born until 70. Well, let's go to 1966 and see what happened. How did you connect with her? Did you know her as a spirit? I was going to say past lives. Mm -hmm. So let's go into your past lives with Tara. I want you to go back and tell me where it was that you lived with her in her past life. 
We were sisters mm -hmm. playing um, hopscotch and jump rope. Mm -hmm. We were around the same age. And what happened to her? <sighs> she died from eating too much candy. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. So how is it that you connected with her? Did you want to help her? No. I hated her. You hated her. Okay. So is that why you followed her into this life? Maybe. Mm-hmm. So, Melissa, what was the purpose of you attaching with her now? To make her miserable. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what did you cause her? Pain and suffering. What kind of pain? Emotional, physical, sadness, anger, frustration, pain. Mm -hmm. Is this because you felt these things? Yes, and I was jealous of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melissa, do you think that it's right for you to be causing pain and suffering in another person instead of going to the light? I do think it's right. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel it's right? Because that's all I know. Mm -hmm. Melissa, what is it that, why is it that you're so sad and angry and bitter? What happened to you? Because my father beat me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> How old were you when your father beat Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. He was a drunk. Mm -hmm. And he sexually molested me too. And he molested you when you were little? Yes. Mm -hmm. Melissa, did he molest your sister too? No. Just you? Yes. Mm hmm. Is that why you were angry at her? Yeah, because it wasn't fair that I was the one. Mm -hmm. So what happened? What happened to you? <sighs> Just got, grew angry and hated the world. Mm -hmm. And then when, when Tara, what was Tara's name in that lifetime? Kathy. Kathy. So when Kathy died, you looked for her? No. How did you find? Pen pal. Mm. Okay. You just connected with her? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what was going on in Tara's life that allowed you to connect with her? She was looking for hope. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. What was happening in her life at that time? She felt lost and confused. Mm -hmm. and that was a good time to take advantage, was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is that what made her vulnerable to you? Mm -hmm. So where is it that you attached to her? What part of the body? The whole body. Mm -hmm. Just took everything over, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melissa, I know that you've been suffering with all of this pain for a long time. The injustice of your father beating you, molesting you, knowing that there's no justice. Would you like to let go of all of that pain now? Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to assist you? Yes. All right. So, Melissa, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give to me all of that pain and suffering that you've been feeling. All of that resentment against your sister. All of that anger that you had for your father, for beating on you, molesting you, taking advantage of you, feeling that it wasn't right. Give that all to me. You don't need that anymore. Give me all of that feeling. And tell me when I have it all.
All right, I'm going to take it and send it up to the universe with love. Now, Melissa, in that space, it's a huge space that's left. What would you like to fill that with? Love. Let's take a fire hose and put lots of love in there. Feel it filling you all up. Filling all of your essence with that beautiful love. Tell me how that feels as it's going. Like it's going through my veins. Mm -hmm. Allow it to seep in through all of it, Melissa. And now that let's seal it. Seal it. What else would you like to put in there? Happiness. Let's put lots of happiness in there. Lots of happiness. What else would make you feel complete? No pain. Mm -hmm. So let's put that in there. Let's put a lot of, lot of feeling of free, pain free. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? No different. Mm -hmm. Well, this is your essence, Melissa. I want you to go through the body that you're residing in. And I know that you've hooked yourself up metaphysically with lots of cords and cable. So I'm going to ask Tara to help you with this exercise. Tara, I want you to go through your body and find all of the cords and cables that are connecting Melissa to you. Pull them out. And Melissa, I want you to pull all of that all of that attachment to her. Pull it all out. Release it. We're going to send it to the universe with love. And Tara, tell me what all of that looks like. A lot of junk. <laughs> mm -hmm. What color is it? Black. Black. Pull it all out. Melissa, I want you to pull out all of that black gook and junk that you have attached to her. And Tara, I want you to help her take it all out, pull it out from the roots, all through all of your body, every cell, every muscle, every ligament, every organ, pull it all out. Melissa, sweep it up, roll it up. And I'm going to ask my Archangel Michael to come in and help. Melissa, I want you to give him all of that gook. Give it to him. Put it in his hands. And tell me when you've gotten it all out. Very good. So now I'm asking my physician angels to come in. And I want them to clean up all of the area that's left. And Melissa, I'm going to have you go up through her crown chakra in a minute. Is there anything that you would like to tell Tara before you leave? I'm sorry for making you suffer. Mm-hmm. It wasn't my intention. It's the only thing I knew. But now you know different, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right. I want you, Melissa, to fill yourself up with that light that you have inside of you. Fill yourself with light so that you can go on a much smoother journey. Feel yourself being filled with that light. And I want you to go up through her crown and Archangel Michael is waiting for you. And I'm going to have you escorted by a whole bunch of angels of the light. Feel them surrounding you and taking you. And tell me when you get to the light, please. This is home. Okay. Tell me if there's anybody there to greet you. Yes. Who's there? A guy with wings. Wonderful. All right. May the light of the universe accompany you, Melissa. Thank you very much for helping here today. Many blessings. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Tara to look through your whole body. I'm going to put a spotlight on your body, wave it through, and tell me if you see any other energy in your body. Everything should be totally white. Tell me if there's any other energy interfering. Blue at my feet. Very good. Is it both feet or one foot? Both. All right. So I'm going to go to your feet now. And I'm going to bring that energy up. Feel the energy coming up through your legs. And bringing it up. Bringing that energy up. Allow that energy to express itself. Good evening. How long have you been there in Melissa's feet? 15 years. 15 years. That's a long time. What may I call you? Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. That's an interesting name. Mm -hmm. Snake Eyes, how is it that you found Tara? She was just in a funk. Mm -hmm. And how about you? Were you in a funk too? I had no friends. Mm. What happened to you, Snake Eyes? Why didn't you have friends? I was in the 1960s and I was homely looking and I got beat up. Mm -hmm. Who beat you up? kids at school mm -hmm. and then I committed suicide how did you commit suicide I hung myself mm -hmm. how old were you like 13 14 that's very sad what did they call you then Bigfoot Bigfoot that was your name yeah is that the name that the bullies called you uh-huh what was your real name Steve Steve can I call you Steve yes Steve, how long have you been looking for someone, a friend? 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Did you feel Tara could be your friend? Yes. So what? how did you contact her? Through the Ouija board. Mm. So she called you in? Yes. Mm -hmm. So did you talk to her for a while? A little bit. Mm-hmm. And did you decide to stay? Yes. She felt like a friend to you? Yeah, because she was nice. Mm-hmm. So, Steve, how have you been affecting her since you've been in her body? Pain and throbbing and difficulty moving forward emotionally sometimes. Mm -hmm. Have you caused her all the pain in her feet? Most of it. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that people think that she has an illness because of you? No. No? You've been causing her pain? Instability? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel, knowing that you're making somebody else suffer? It makes me feel good. I think it makes you feel empowered. Because they were bullying you, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Steve, every soul has an evolution that it needs to go through. And when you committed suicide, you should have gone home. You should have gone to the light. There you could have been empowered by the light of Source. This is where you came from. Why didn't you go there? Because I felt comfortable in her. Mm. Think you maybe were a little bit of scared to go there? Or were you confused? Not really. No? You just wanted a friend? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what, what Tara says about that. Let me speak with Tara. Tara, now that you know that Steve has been in your feet, how do you feel about that? Horrible. Hmm. Do you think he's a good friend? Not at all. Tell him how you feel about him being your feet. You're hurting me and you're not doing me any good. Mm -hmm. And you're not a friend that I want to have. Would it be nice for us to be able to help him and go to the light so that you can get some rest? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's let's send Steve some love so that he knows what it feels like. I want you to do some outpouring of love towards him so that he knows what a real friend would feel like. Because we don't want to be able to... We can't do anything for him if we don't do it with love. Send him love. And then we'll send him on his way, okay? Let me speak with Steve. Steve, how does it feel to get some love from her? It feels okay. Okay. So Steve, we're gonna feel, you're gonna feel a lot more love in a minute. Steve, when you go home, there's other people there that love you. Who do you miss the most? My brother. Mm-hmm. Steve, I wanna do a little experiment. I want you to go up through her head right now. And I want you to go up towards the light. And I want you to just peek in there. Don't want you to stay. Just peek and see if you see your brother there. Yes. Mm-hmm. What is he telling you? Come, come, come. We've been waiting. Okay. But we can't come because you've got unfinished business here with Tara. Come on back down. Steve, there's a lot of connections that you've made in her feet that are causing her pain. I want you to pull all of that out. And Tara, you know how to do that now. I want you to go in and pull it from the roots so that he can pull it also. Pull it out like weeds. And tell me what color it looks like. Pink. Pink. Pull it all out. Steve, tell me when you've got all that stuff pulled out. Okay. All right, I want you to hand it over to Archangel Michael. He's right here. He's extending his hands out. Give it to him. And now, Steve, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give to me all of those that pain and suffering that you had from all of those bullies saying things about you, not feeling that you had a friend, all of the resentment that you felt. All that loneliness. Give it to me so I could send it to the universe. Take it all out of her feet. Every bit of it. Tell me when I have it all. Okay. All right, I'm going to take it and send it up. Now, Steve, Steve, in that space that left that you left there so big, what would you like to fill fill it with? Charity. A lot of charity. Very good. Let's put that in there and seal that. What else would you like to fill it with? Clarity. Mm-hmm. Put that in there. Mm-hmm. Joy. Lots of joy. Lots of joy. Peace. Mm-hmm. Put that in there. Good night's sleep. Mm hmm You're gonna get a real good night's sleep, Steve. Anything else? <sighs> self-respect. Mm hmm Let's put all of that in there. Lots of self-respect. You don't need those bullies anymore. You'll be able to fight against them with your confidence. Do you feel complete, Steve? Mm -hmm. All right, so I want you to leave, take anything else that's left there in her body, bring it up through her crown, and I'm going to have the angels of the light surround you and take you up to see your brother. And tell me when you're there. There. Very good. Steve, from where you are, now that you're in the light, I want you to shed on her a lot of light from there. I want you to send it all into her body. Seal her completely with that beautiful white light. Seal all of the area where you are in. And tell me when you're done. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Steve. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you so much. Well, is there anything that you would like to tell Tara as you leave? Is that everything's going to be okay now? Very good. Thank you so much. So I'm going to shine the spotlight on you again, beginning from your feet all the way up, your body. 
As I shine that light, tell me if you see any shadows, any movement that shouldn't be there. My legs are like red and yellow. Mm-hmm. They're red and yellow? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me which leg? Both. Both. All right. So we're going to bring that energy up. Bring that energy up. All the way up. Allow that energy to come up, up, up. Feel it coming up. And allow itself to express what it's feeling. Good evening. What is it that has caused you to be all those colors? Um, well, my name was Stephanie. Stephanie. What are you doing there in her legs? Well, I was a prostitute. Mm-hmm. How old are you, Stephanie? Like 45. Mm-hmm. In the 1980s. Okay, and how did you find Tara? I don't know. Mm-hmm. So how did you lose your, your life, Stephanie? A drug overdose. Mm-hmm. And what happened to your spirit after that? It did go up. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? And it came back down. Mm-hmm. Were you afraid? No. It just... You just weren't ready? I think I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it that made Tara vulnerable to you? Just easy to get in. Mm-hmm. How was she feeling at the time? Shitty. Mm-hmm. Just like you? Didn't feel real good? Mm-hmm. So you were kind of a match? Mm-hmm. Did she call you in? No. No, you just decided Well, to... in, in a dream. In a dream? She called you in a dream? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did she want from you? You could tell me. Did it have to do with sex? No. Mm -hmm. What did it have to do with it? Just a friend. A friend. Okay. So since you've been in her body, what have you caused her? Pain, inflammation, mm -hmm. tiredness, exhaustion, suffering. Mm -hmm. Why all of that? Why did you choose that? It was easy. Mm -hmm. What did you get out of it by giving her all of that? Excitement. Mm -hmm. It gave you a thrill? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you feel empowered while you were doing that? No. Just for fun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when Tara would get sick, how would, how would it make you feel? I would laugh. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like laughing at her for that? Mm -hmm. It would make you feel better, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, Stephanie, that's not really the the right thing to do, is it? No. Mm -mm. And if every spirit needs to progress through its evolution. And once a person leaves its body, the natural progression is to go back to its home, back to the source light, where you came from. This is home. This is a place where you will be helped, where you'll feel energized again. You'll be able to rest and have real friends. See the people that you've loved for so many lifetimes. How do you feel about doing that? I trust you. Mm -hmm. All right. But before you go there, Stephanie, I know that there's a lot that you need to unload. We can't go to source feeling so heavy, can we? Mm -mm. What would you like to unload on me today? I'm sorry for what I did to her. All right, so I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Give me all of that. All of that guilt that you feel. Go back into that lifetime, all of the things that you did that you regret. 
we're going to go back to that life as a prostitute where you didn't feel that you were empowered or people took advantage of you where you drugged yourself just to be able to survive where you had no self-worth give that all to me tell me when I have it all Okay. All right, I'm going to take that Stephanie and send it to the universe. Now in that space that's been left, it's a huge space now. You've unloaded a lot. What would you like to fill that with? Peace. Let's put lots of peace in there. Lots of peace and seal it. What else? Self-acceptance. Mm -hmm. Let's put that in there too. Mm -hmm. What else? Self-worth. Mm-hmm. Trust. Lots of trust. Very good. Anything else you feel complete? Confidence and security. Let's put lots of confidence in there. You need lots of confidence. A whole fire hose of it. Feel it filling you up. Fill you up with confidence. Very good. How do you feel now? Still in pain. But... Mm -hmm. Let's bring all of that gook that you were filling her space with. I want Tara to go into your legs now. See where Stephanie has been connected. And Stephanie, I want you to pull all of that stuff out. Tara, tell me what it looks like. Yellow. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a yellow gook. Pull it all out. Tell me, Stephanie, when it's all out. Okay. All right. Stephanie, I want you to go up now through the crown of her head. I've got my angels of the light surrounding you now, accompanying you so you feel like you're not going by yourself. Archangel Michael, my God is there helping you. And tell me who you see when you get to the light. My son. Beautiful. What's he telling you? He's a little baby. Mm-hmm. He said, finally, you're home. Wonderful. Stephanie, may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much. And now, Tara, I want you to use that light from your heart that brilliant white light and fill your legs up fill it and seal it this is your healing power fill every space where ta what you had all of that influence in where Stephanie was filling you with that, all that yellow gook use that magical white light fill it in And let me know when you're done. Okay. Very good. We're going to do the same exercise. I'm going to put my spotlight on your body. And as I go up, tell me if you see anything else. Any other energies in there. Behind my neck. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to bring that energy back. I'm going to bring it up, 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 up. Allow it to express itself. Good evening. Hi. Who am I speaking with? George. George. George, how long have you been there with Tara? Ten years. Ten years. What happened ten years ago that you found her? She was reading a book. Mm -hmm. And that's how I entered. What was the book about? Joy. Mm -hmm. What made her vulnerable to you if she was reading about joy? I was a happy person. Oh, I see. 
So why did you find her? I was lonely. Mm -hmm. I had an ice cream truck and I got into a car accident. Oh, I see. George, how old were you? 53. 53. And where was this? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So after you crashed, what happened to your spirit? It went up. Mm-hmm. And then what? Huh? And then what happened? How did you find Tara? I don't know. What have, what have you helped her with? I've just been watching her. Mm-hmm. Out of curiosity? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you stay in the light? I missed Brooklyn. Mm. So you want to kind of see it from a different perspective? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you caused her any pain? Just tightness. Mm -hmm. Where is the tightness? The neck, the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Are you causing her any discomfort at night when she sleeps? It's always. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's fair? George, no. that you would cause someone that discomfort? No. What would you like to say to Tara today about that? I'm ready to be released. Mm -hmm. All right, but before you go, you need to pull all of that influence out of her. I want you to go through her neck, her shoulders, everywhere where you're causing her discomfort, and I want you to pull it out. And Tara, tell me what it looks like. Purple and orange. Mm-hmm. Pull it all out. Tell me when you're done, George. Okay. Mm -hmm. George, is there anything that you feel is keeping you here bound to earth? Any regrets? I just like to see the sunrise. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can do that from the light, George. Let's do that from a different perspective, okay? What would you like to tell Tara before you leave? I can leave some ice cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that I'm sorry and you deserve good in your life. Very good. Let's speak to Tara. What would you like to tell George? I know you didn't mean any harm. Mm hmm Can you let him go with love? Yes. All right. So, George, are you ready to leave now? I first want to kiss her on the forehead. All right. Give her a kiss on the forehead. Okay. All right. Very good. George, take a leap through her crown chakra here, and I'm going to have the angels of the light escort you all the way up. And tell me when you get there. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Anybody there to greet you? My mother. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. Give her a big hug. She said, come to mama. Mm, beautiful. Italian mama. Uh -huh. Very good. So George, may the light of the universe accompany you. May peace continue to be in your life forever. So now, Tara, I want you to continue looking through your body. I'm going to keep putting that spotlight on you. Tell me if there's anything else. I want you to focus on your, especially on the, your area, genital areas. See if there's anything there. It's really my lower back. Your lower back. My okay. gun, my hip. Your hip, the right or your left? Both. Both. Okay, so let's take that energy, bring it up. Let's bring that energy up. Feel it coming up. Feel it coming up. And you're there now. Good evening. Hi. Who am I speaking with? A rat. A rat? Mm-hmm. What's a rat doing there? Sniffing around for some cheese. <laughs> ah. So what are you doing with Tara? How did she attract a rat? Uh. It is her name spelled backwards. <laughs> ah. Is that the, is that what the funny part about it? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. 
So why did you, why did you uh, decide to make contact with Tara? Because rats are poisonous. Mm. What happened to you? Why are you so angry? I think, I, I don't think I'm angry. I think I'm more obnoxious. Oh, you're obnoxious. Well, every obnoxious act is a cry for help. Let me help you here today. What would you like to call me to call you? Ralph the Rat. Ralph. Ralph, how can I help you here today? Because that's why I'm here, to help you. Even a rat deserves lots of love and attention. Can you help me find another body to go to? Mm, we can. But the way that all spirits progress is by going to the light. That's how we progress. You don't need a human body to go to. You need to go back to Source. Everything came from Source. Everything came from the light. So Ralph, I want you to look inside of you, and there you will find the spark of light. This is the light that created you. Everyone has that light. Feel that light inside of you, and feel how it's connected to all that is. Feel the love in that light. And as you feel that light growing inside of you, you'll understand that this is what home feels like. It's pure love. And when you go back home, you'll feel that love permeating every cell, every bit of your essence. How does that feel, Ralph? Good. Good. Full. So. Mm-hmm. You ready to let go of this body? Mm-hmm. All right. What would you like to tell Tara before you leave? Sayonara. <laughs> okay. Take all of that with you. Go to her hips and pull out any influence that you have there, Ralph. Pull it all out. Don't leave anything behind. Tara, help him. You know how to do it now. You don't want to leave anything behind from Ralph. You ready to go, Ralph? Mm -hmm. All right. Come on up to her crown. And I want you to make your way up into the light and tell me when you get there. Okay. And tell me what you find there. Jeez. Very good. That's what you were looking for, wasn't it? All right. All right. May the light of the universe accompany you, Ralph. And may you progress to another beautiful body as whatever it is that you want to come back as. Thank you very much. So let's do the light again. Let's go through the body. And tell me if you see anything else. We're good. You're good, all right. So I want you to now take a deep breath in. I'm gonna to ask to speak with your higher self. Take a deep breath in. Very good. May I speak your, with your higher self, please? Yes. Thank you. I know that you could have shown Tara many different lifetimes to get today, but instead of that, we went through a lot of entity releasement. What was the purpose of bringing her here today? To be pain-free. Mm. How is she looking today, right now? Is it better? No. What's causing that pain? Self-doubt. How self-doubt. So we need to work on that, huh? Mm-hmm. So can you tell me where that self-doubt started from? Is it this lifetime or a different lifetime? This lifetime. Lifetime. Okay. So would you allow me to take her back to that time? Yes. All right. Let's go back. And I'm going to put my head on your forehead. And I want you to go back to that moment that brought all of that self-doubt. See yourself there. See the picture come up. Be there now. What do you see? It's only from pictures, not mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was a baby, there was a picture, and then uh, there was a picture of me of short hair. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
I want you to go back to that time. I want you to see yourself getting smaller and smaller until you become that baby again. Go back in time. I'm going to count from five down to one. When we get to one, I'll tap your forehead. You'll be there. Five, going back, back, back. Four, your arms and legs are getting smaller. Three, flying back through time and space. Two and one. Be there now. Where are you? In a, um, but it's really just the picture. Mm -hmm. Just the baby and um, mm -hmm. a blanket. All right. So I want you to just feel yourself going into that picture. Feel that picture coming alive. Allow it to become a motion picture. As you go into that picture, you'll be able to look around. Breathe into it. Breathe life into it. And as you go into that picture, you'll be able to get the answers to where the self-doubt began. Look around and see what's going on. Listen for voices and messages. Trust your impressions. Trust what you receive. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? My parents are fighting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Screaming. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel your body. See what is causing your body. I'm very agitated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And I just want to put my hands over my ears. Mm -hmm. What are they screaming about? Money. Mm -hmm. So as you're listening to them scream, I want you to focus on how it's making you feel. Focus on your body. What emotions are coming up? Sadness, anger. Mm -hmm. My body is just getting tense. Mm -hmm. Keep focusing on your body. Then I start crying. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice if there's any changes in your body as you're bringing in that tension. It's like being on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it affecting your organs? Nothing. Mm -hmm. How is it affecting your muscles? Tight pain. Mm -hmm. So tell me if anything happens to your muscles while this is happening. I ended up going in the diaper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what caused that? Just a release. Mm -hmm. All right. But you're a not poopy. Mm -hmm. And tell me what happens next. Then my mom picks me up and she, uh, what's the word? <laughs> she cradles you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're getting from your mom. Fear, anxiety, mm -hmm. nervousness. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're absorbing some of that from her? Yes. Okay. Do you feel like it's becoming part of you? Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to freeze frame that right now. Freeze that frame. And we're going to do some healing on that. I want you to take all of that all of that you, that you just took from her. And we're going to clean that up. We're going to re take all of that emotion that came from your mom and we're going to take it out of you. I want you to imagine yourself as if you had a magic eraser. A magic eraser. And that magic eraser will be able to go through that little body 
and start picking up all of those emotions that came from your mom. All of that fear, all of that anger. So I want you to start going through that body and picking up all of that as if it were an eraser. Just clean it all up. Make sure you get all of it. We want to leave little Tara completely free of all of that negative emotion. Clean it all up. And as you're going through your, her body, I want you to feel that in your own body. Feel it as a reflection in your body. As you're going through it, erasing all of that emotion that you picked up. And tell me how that feels. It's like I'm disconnected. Very good. Very good. So as you disconnect, how does the body feel now? But disconnected in a bad way. Mm -hmm. In what way? Just not caring. Mm -hmm. Not caring about your mom. About myself. Mm -hmm. All right, we want to use something else then. Now that we've re erased that, what we want to do is we want to put in that little body a lot of confidence. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and we're going to push it back into that little girl's body. Feel all of that love and confidence going into her, filling her up, filling her with love, filling her with confidence, filling her with peace and self-worth. Fill up that little body with all of that. Allow it to fill her. And see if you can imagine what color that energy looks like. What color does it look like now? It's all different. Mm hmm. Feel like a rainbow color? Mm hmm. Very good. So as we're filling all that in there, just fill it with all that rainbow colors. All of it positive. We're getting little Tara, full of love, self-esteem, confidence. Fill it all up. And tell me when she's totally full. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take that away from now now. So now I want you to Take little Tara and just give her a big hug. Give her a big hug. And what would you like to tell her to make her feel up, like she can grow up feeling better? You're mm -hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. Now give her all of that talk so she can feel better. You're beautiful inside and out. Mm-hmm. Anything else you'd like to tell her? Don't let anyone hurt you or use you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I want to talk to little Tara now. Let me touch your forehead. Little Tara, how do you feel now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you can now can grow up feeling better about yourself? A little bit. Mm hmm All right. So, I want Big Tara to take, wrap your arms around little Tara. And I want you to grow her up now. Grow her up until she's the same age as you. Feeling all of that confidence, all of that love and peace. Knowing that she doesn't have to doubt herself. She can shut off all that negativity at any time. 
she can feel at peace. And take a deep breath in and tell me how that feels. How does little Tara feel now? Good. Good, very good. Let me speak with your higher self. Thank you very much for allowing me to do that exercise. Would you be willing to answer her questions today? She brought a lot of them. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. What's her life purpose? <sighs> to be a good person mm -hmm. and heal and help others. Is she doing that? Not the way she wants to. Mm -hmm. How do you, what do you think about the path she's on right now? It's stagnant. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest? How can we make it better? <sighs> Reading and educating and opening herself up. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we've had this session where we've gotten rid of a lot of the, of the friends, quote unquote, that were kind of messing with her, do you feel that she would be able to make the time to do this now? Time to do... The, the reading and the educating herself? Um, not so sure. Okay. All right. Is she a light worker? Yes. Okay. What are her superpowers? <sighs> Speaking from the heart. Mm-hmm. And using her hands. Mm -hmm. What does she have in her hands? Energy and love mm -hmm. and care and support and empathy. Very good. Very good. Will she be able to do this in the future? Oh, yes. As a career? If she wants it, yes. Okay. Very good. Can I ask in her on her behalf to bring in some of the guides that can help her with this? Sure. To escalate this? Yes. Very good. Very good. Why is it that she doesn't want to feel, want to be on Earth anymore? She's just tired. Mm-hmm. Is it tired because of the things that have happened to her? It's just her body's drained. Mm-hmm. Well, today we've done a lot of work on her body. We've gotten rid of a lot of the influence that's been hurting her. Can you begin to work on her body now to bring more energy into it? No. Why is that? She's just stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that the higher self can do anything. Tell her why she's stuck. Because she feels she needs to suffer. Ah. And it's too good, be, too, too good to be true to be pain-free. Ah, okay. Is this coming from a different lifetime? The suffering? Four lifetimes ago. Four lifetimes ago. Can you tell her what that lifetime was about? Or can you show it to her? So we can get that taken care of today. I was just always living in fear. Mm -hmm. What happened four lifetimes ago? She was robbed. Mm -hmm. So they took everything from her that meant things. Mm -hmm. Where was this? In an apartment. Mm hmm in Ohio. Okay. And ever since then, she hasn't trusted anybody? To a point. Mm -hmm. So now that we know that they came from four lifetimes ago, does she need to hold on to this anymore? No. Can we remove that from her today? Yes. All right. I'm going to help remove that. I'm going to put my hand on her heart and let me take all of that from her. Let's take it all out. Take it all out. Out. All right. All right. So we don't need that anymore. She no. doesn't have to hold on to that anymore. Why did she come back this lifetime? To be happy. Mm -hmm. Make we, a difference. Mm -hmm. Can we start doing that as of today? Yes. All right. Very good. Why did she choose not to have children? She had so many in another life. <laughs> Which lifetime was that? Three times ago. Three times ago? She had eight children. 
Mm, so she got a little tired? <laughs> she figured she had enough. <laughs> of eight children? Yeah. Okay. Are any of the children that were her, hers here in this lifetime now? Say that again? Any of those children affecting her in this lifetime now? Three of them. Three of them. Are they any of her friends? Or are they just around her? Well, one was Nicole, and mm -hmm. they're no longer friends as a couple of weeks ago, and she feels great about it because she never felt right about the mm. relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So one of them was, was her children. She was a child of hers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else that she knows? Mm -mm. Okay. Good. How come she doesn't remember anything before the age of 13? Because she did have a trauma. Mm -hmm. What was that all about? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Did she block it out? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to remember what happened before she was 13? <sighs> no. Okay. So can we let that go? Yes. All right. She doesn't need to remember that anymore. Was she ever molested? She... She says she thinks she was. Right. Is that because of what she heard? Or what, she, what really happened? It's not clear. Mm hmm Can we get that thought of her out of her mind? So it doesn't bother her anymore. So fixed in her head? Mm-hmm. So let's get that out of her mind. Let's do some forgiveness there. I'm going to put my hand on your head. Let's take that out. Let's take all of that out. We don't need that anymore. Out. And let's put in your heart instead some good memories. Whatever it is that you want. Let's put that in there, in your heart and in your head. Put good thoughts. Beautiful thoughts. Why is she always spending money and trying to heal herself externally when it's all within her? She doesn't feel she has enough. Mm-hmm. Does she? Yeah, but she always wants more. Mm-hmm. Is that a bad thing? No. Okay. So she doesn't need to really worry about that, right? She's making the money. Right. She wants the stuff. Right. So what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. So let's give her that feeling of, of peace. That when she needs something, she can get it. And she doesn't feel guilt about it. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's put that in there. Let's put that feeling in there. Take all that guilt out. I take that guilt out. Why is she always rushing? Not enough time. Mm -hmm. Is that because truly there's not enough time for her to do everything? Yeah, she puts a lot in one day. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? Slow down. If you can't get to it today, you'll get to it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Why does she think about death and the afterlife all the time? It's curiosity mm -hmm. and the unknown. Mm-hmm. Has this session helped her a little bit realize what happens? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How does she feel about death now? I mean, she hasn't really thought about it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's give her some ideas so that she has something to ponder with as her higher self. Would you work on that so that she can get a good feeling about it? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. What's going on with her car? She says she doesn't feel safe. Was that George? No. What's happening with her car? It's just like six years old and... She just doesn't physically feel safe in it, and mm -hmm. she'd like a new car, but she'll run it to the ground. But mm -hmm. she's intuitive, so she does feel like when people are coming in her lane. Mm -hmm. Can I ask on her behalf? for some guidance, some guides that will help her when she's driving yes. to give her more peace 
Yes. All right. So I'd like to ask for the guides that that help her with that to sit with her in the car, and whenever she feels that energy that she feels, those thoughts, to give her peace, to give her confidence while she drives, to deflect anything that may harm her. Can you do that for her? Mm -hmm. Thank you. We ask about relationships. Why hasn't she found her true love? Fear, self-doubt, mm -hmm. not trusting. Mm -hmm. Always having to find someone to help. Mm -hmm. What can you tell her about that today? Just be patient. He's around the corner. Okay, good. When will she find him? Six months to a year. Good. Does she need to do anything or just work on herself? Both. Mm hmm Good. Is she going to be finding him on the internet? There'll be a couple of guys, so one is on the internet, yes. Very good. Will this be a guy who accepts her with the conditions that she has? Yes. Mm -hmm. And why does she have what she has? Self-worth. Mm. Can we work on that today? Yes. There's no need to have that, is there? No. All right. I'd like to ask Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael, who are the healers, to start working on her. Why does she self-sabotage? She feels she doesn't deserve to be happy. Mm, does she? Of course. Mm -hmm. Would you make her feel that, that feeling of love now? Give her a nice embrace. Give her that warmth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is Tara going to continue with her current job? Yes, but not forever. Okay. Can you tell her what she should be doing? She's very bored with it right now. Not feeling stimulated. Just ride it out because there'll be changes. Wonderful. Ride it out and her own job will change? Yes. Very good. Very good. That should give her some hope, huh? Mm-hmm. What should she do in the meantime to feel better? Because right now she's feeling a little lazy. Not getting herself up and pray. Okay, very good, very good. Now you said that she can be a healer. Is that something that she can be doing at the same time that she's working? Yes. Okay, good. Is she doing some of it now? Very little. Mm -hmm. How would you recommend she start? Kind of see what falls into her lap. Okay. Would you start sending people to her? Yes. Very good. Thank you. She'd like to get back to her creative side. We were talking about the fact that she made jewelry before. How should she be creative now? That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. She's probably over the jewelry thing, isn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone will approach her on something. Okay. All right. How will she know when it's the right thing? She'll be happy. Very good. We want her happy. Why is it that she's feeling so resentful of people that are getting handouts? Because she never got them. Mm -hmm. How can we heal that today? I don't know. We don't want her to. We don't want her in a state of resentfulness. We want her in a state of grace. Can you fill her with some of that today? Mm hmm. All right. I know that you can adjust her way of thinking. So if you can 
start working on her so that she can feel gratefulness and not worry about what other people are getting. Okay, oh. very good. Would you do a body scan on her now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And tell me what you're finding. That her whole body is in pain. Mm-hmm. And she might never get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did she choose to be in this pain this time around? Attention. Attention. So, is it that this is a secondary gain here? She's feeling that she's getting attention with all of us? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Does it serve her? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Does she actually want to get rid of it? Yes. Okay. So let's look at at this pain and see how it is that it serves her. I want you to tell me what are the things that you're getting out of this pain? Um, purpose. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Can you find a purpose in something else besides the pain? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do we need to have the pain as a purpose anymore? No. All right. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Let's take it out of there. Let's take out that idea and take it away. What else do you find that you're getting from this pain? Nothing else. Mm -hmm. So do you need this pain anymore? No. All right. So I want you to get yourself in a spirit form. Feel yourself getting smaller and smaller. And I want you to go in. Let's go in through your nose. That's a nice opening that we can go in through. I want you to go in through your nose. And I want you to start observing everything that's in your body. And tell me what color should the inside of your body be when it's healthy? Purple. Mm-hmm. What color is it now? It's so many different colors. Mm-hmm. So I want you to use whatever tool you need to use. It could be a vacuum. It could be a hose. It could be any tool that you want to use. And I want you to go through your whole body. And I want you to start spraying all of your body with that purple color. And as you go through your body, this will be an indication to your body of what health feels like. So start going through your body and start changing all of it back to purple. And as it turns to purple, notice how the pain will be diminished. This is like your own internal medicine. Feel it going through. Don't leave any area out. And tell me when you're done. Okay. Very good. So as your body is now acclimating to the purple, we'll ask that all of your guides keep working on you as your body gets used to this healthy color, rather than being scattered in all different colors. You now have indicated to it what color it should be. And each time you listen to this recording, and go through your body with the purple, you'll feel that your body begins to change more and more as it adjusts to the new health, new vibrance, new energy that it has with this beautiful, vibrant color. Feel it as it goes through your cells, adjusting it, correcting it, back to a healthy body. Is there anything else that you can see in your body that's causing any discomfort? No. Mm -hmm. 
Can you take a look at the throat and see why she has calluses there? Communication. Mm -hmm. Is she not communicating? Sometimes. Okay. So as she communicates, will that go away? When she's true to herself. Okay. So now that she knows why that's causing it, she could work on that herself? Mm hmm Very good. What about the deviated uh, septum? It's no big deal. No big deal. Okay. What about the bladder? She drinks a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it actually small? Mm hmm Okay. So can you start working on her bladder today and stretching it out so that she's able to handle more water? Yes. Mm hmm Very good. Very good. Why is her jaw disjointed? What's going on there? Stress. Stress. Can you shine some light on her jaw now mm -hmm. so that we can start working on that stress? Mm -hmm. Alleviate it. Very good. Can you tell her what color that would be? What color is that light? Mm, all different again. Very good. Okay. Does she need all those different colors? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Would you tell her why she's so angry all the time? She just feels life is unfair. Mm -hmm. Is it unfair? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. So what advice do you have to give her? Love yourself. Very good. Why does she have acid reflux? <laughs> the shit she's eating. Okay, so what would you recommend? Healthy eating. Mm -hmm. She knows what she needs to do. Okay, so is her body telling her? She's, they don't want that stuff in there? Right. Okay, so as soon as she pays attention to her body, It'll go away. Mm. Very good. Why can't she sleep at night? So much on her mind. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to do is ask her guides to accompany her when she sleeps and clear her head so that she can get a good night's sleep. Okay. All right. Why is she burping all the time? Frustration. Mm -hmm. Is this a way that she gets it out? Hmm. No. What's it about? It's just the way her body reacts. Okay. So it's just a, a normal reaction to the frustration? Mm hmm Okay. Is there a way that she can handle frustration better? A lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. Would you illuminate her with that? Yes. All right. So while she goes about her day, she'll get some ideas of how to handle all of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's causing her weight gain? She can't seem to lose the weight. Self-talk. Okay. Any of this self-talk have to do with any of these friends that we sent to the light today? Mm -mm. This is her own doing? Mm -hmm. All right. So what can we do today to help her with the self-talk? Just um, appreciate what you have and be more positive and more gentle on yourself. Okay, very good. She says her body is so tense and tight. What was causing that? Stress. Okay. So we'll be working on that also? Yes. Thank you. Why does she take in so much sugar? That's her addiction. She's not smoking, drinking, gambling. Mm -hmm. That's her thing. So her addiction is... It's all of that sugar? Yeah, her body that... craves it. Okay. All right. So, I wanted to, while you're talking about that, I wanted to... What is the thing that she's most addicted to? Cakes, cookies, mm -hmm. junk, chocolate. 
and it makes her feel worse. Mm -hmm. It makes her feel worse. Okay. So I'd like her to take a look at that, what her favorite food is. I want her to imagine that favorite food in front of her now. And tell me what it is. Snickers. Snickers. And pizza. And pizza. And ice cream. Mm -hmm. And the list can go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the one that's worse for her? Worse? Mm-hmm. It just... All of it. Yeah. Okay. So I want her to understand that next time she goes to put one of this in her mouth, that her body is going to react to it. What reaction would you like to choose? Tired. Mm-hmm. So whenever you have one of those and you eat that, you'll feel tired? Mm -hmm. Is that a good one? All right. So let's let's put that trigger in. I'm going to touch your forehead so that we can solidify that connection. And you'll feel really tired. Now let's let's solidify a different connection when you eat something healthy. What would you like to feel instead? Happy and energetic. All right. So I want you to see yourself eating that food that makes a lot of sense for you to eat everything that's good for you and I want you to now see yourself eating that food and as you eat it you feel that joy coming into your body that energy and let's connect that all right what's causing the headaches The sugar, having it, not having it. Mm -hmm. All right. Does she have a headache now? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do something about that. Let's get that headache out of the way. We're going to take that headache and take it out. Feel it coming out. Out, 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 out. Out. Let's bring in that healing energy. Allow that light to come in. Flood it in there. Feel the energy feeling, feeling all of those cells that you have in there. Feel every bit of it. How's it feeling? Still there. Mm -hmm. As you go throughout your day, you'll feel that filling it even more. And take a deep breath in and just feel that. Allow it to sink in. You have control. As you breathe. Feel it coming out. Fill your head with that beautiful oxygen. Allow it to fill every bit of it. See the inflammation going down, the inflammation causing all the pulsing in your head. Use the oxygen to open up all of the capillaries, all of the veins in your head. See how the blood flows smoother now. And as it flows through your head, the pressure subsides. Push that blood through, allow it to flow very smoothly. Every breath that goes in brings that life force into your head. 
allowing it to flow peaceful very peaceful use the breath Why is it so difficult to catch her breath sometimes? Just has a lot on her mind, just stuffing a lot of stuff down. Mm -hmm. So it's a reflection of all that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you work on that for her? Yes. Okay. So what's causing all of the nervousness and anxiousness in her? Just so a lot of thoughts. Mm -hmm. Good. Her mind never stops, it seems. There's a lot of chatter in there. She says she lays in bed and all she does is think. I'll help her with that. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that we could have touched upon today? Or is that she can control her depression? Mm -hmm. It's up to her. Very good. Very good. And I'm just curious about one thing. When we first started out, she saw herself somewhat like an angel, a winged being. What was that all about? Just like a fantasy. Mm -hmm. It's just the way that she saw herself. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Is there any final message that you'd like to give Tara today? Keep your head up. Everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any message that you would like to give to anybody else today? No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this session is complete. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Good. Welcome back. Thanks. So how, how long do you feel you were under this little journey? Two hours. Pretty close. How long? Mm -hmm. Hour and a half. Hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. What do you remember about it? Answering everything. Mm -hmm. All the answers are within. What about the little journeys that you did? Yeah, it was all pretty recent. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was like 1960. Well, except the dinosaur one. Mm -hmm. I remember everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's I was so hot, so hot. That's why I kept. You were. You were <laughs> well, you were letting out a lot of a lot of energy. A lot of pe some people get up out of there and the bed is completely soaked yeah. in in sweat because they've they're letting out all of that. You know, I'm very hot. What That's do you what do you think about all of your little friends that were that were helping you out and Yeah. I, you know, I want of course immediate, you know, pain free and mm -hmm. it's not. It takes time, okay? Because I mean, it took a while for this to happen. It wasn't immediate. And you can see that all of this began really as a baby you know you were picking up stuff from as an empath mm -hmm. you were picking up stuff from your parents and making it your own and this little exercise that we did each time you listen to the recording is going to help you go as you go over it you'll feel the same thing over again so it's really really important for you to keep mm -hmm. listening to this mm -hmm. Um, you know, we've had people who have miraculously healed just by listening to this over and over again because the whole session has been recorded in vibration mm -hmm. and the vibration is what you're, you're getting. So mm -hmm. whatever you've gotten today, you're going to be getting over and over again. What about the selenite? How do you feel with that? You feel anything from that? It helped ground you mm, during this thing. No, I'm... Nothing different, really. Nothing different. I know I was very fidgety in energy because that's my, that's you know, I need you to. Are. That's how you are. Yeah, I need to and always move and the fine. circulation. And that's fine. Do you feel any difference at all? No. That's fine. But I hope to, of course. There you know. are people who come to these sessions 
and feel absolutely nothing when they when they leave. And then the next day, it's like their whole world has changed. Or it could take little by little. And, um, you know, obviously don't, they don't tell me about it. But I, oh, I'll, tell I'll, you. I'll hear about it. It's like, right, right, oh right. God, you know, all of us, I thought nothing happened. And then all of a sudden, all these crazy things started happening. What do people feel right away? Something? Some do, some don't. It all depends on the person. But the most important thing is your belief system. Mm -hmm. Because you are creating your life. You're creating your reality. You're creating your body. Everything in it. And how you believe in it is how your body is going to react. Obviously, if you leave here and you go, well, this was just BS. Right. You're not giving any chance for mm -hmm. your body to react. Your body's going to say, okay, well, that's what she wants. We're going to give her that reality. Mm -hmm. But as you put that intention up there, you know, in the universe, listen, I, I know things are going to get better. And I'm just going to not even focus on my body anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's me focus on helping other people, my job. Once you allow the universe to take care of that, you'll notice like maybe a month from now, it's like, hey, I don't feel the same way as I did last month. You're kind of taking the attention off of mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm. Even your higher self said, you want this for attention. Right, right, right. And that's not who I see myself as because I don't want, like, I don't, I'm not that crybaby, you know what I mean, that, mm -hmm. that needs you to take care of me. But you're still, you were still that, that baby right. that you went back to that wanted that attention. Right, right, right. Right? Right. So that's why you were shown that scene because it's like all these people are fighting and, you know, I need attention too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then when your mom picked you up, it wasn't about you. She was, she picked you up because you were crying and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it wasn't to comfort you really. It was like she's, she was mad. Right, right, right. And she was directing all of that at you and you picked it up right so you really weren't getting the attention you, you wanted mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i think as you re listen to this recording it's going to start making sense sinking in right 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 so your body said well maybe if i do this you know people are going to give me attention cuz i always say like i'm a tough independent cookie you know that's how i see myself but that little baby wasn't mm -hmm. needed help, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. So as you revisit her and heal her, and that's why we took that eraser. Mm -hmm. And as you listen to the recording, you you do the exercise over and over again mm -hmm. in your mind to keep erasing all of those feelings that she picked up, because you're an empath. You mm -hmm. know that. I know. So you were picking all of them. So was this was the session? Yeah, it was good. It, it was, was good. good. It's, yeah. not, it's never anything that you expect. No, no, no. Neither for you nor for right, me. Right, right, right. I know. We have no idea what we're exactly. diving into. But we took care of a lot. I know. Stuff. It was robust. Yeah. It was robust. So do you recommend this to other people? Oh, of course. Of course. No. I already spoke to my friend about it. Mm -hmm. She's in Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So I always ask the magic question, is, do you want to share this with others? Do you think that this would be... Something? You mean to be on the... Vi so other people would hear... Mm -hmm. We can cut stuff out if you want. They see my face. Well, we can diffuse your face. Yeah, if no one sees my face, because mm -hmm. it was personal stuff, of you know, course. like, you just cover my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you put the name? No, I mean... I, I thought I saw... Name. I heard your... I said your name, but... We don't have laughter. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. How would you label? Because I know you labeled. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, call it. Oh, you call it what you want. What, what would I call the rat? The rat? You watch the rat? Oh, oh spe snaky eyes. What did I say? Snake eyes? Steve? There well, were, a, on the, on there the were a lot of them. There were a lot of them. You had Stephanie. Oh, my God. You were, you were so George, many. Stephanie. You had the a rat. lot of them. The rat was uh, looking Because it was my name spelled backwards. Isn't that funny? <laughs> uh, let me tell you who you had here. Oh, my God. You had... Uh, 
first of all, we had we had you going back into a different life. Melissa. Right. Melissa was taking over your whole body. And she that was, was Kathy was a sister. That seemed to have been the most powerful one was mm-hmm. Melissa. She took over everything. Uh, Melissa, we had George from Brooklyn. With the ice cream. The ice cream man. <laughs> we had Stephanie, the drug addict. Prostitute. Oh, the, uh, yeah, she died of an overdose. Right. We had Steve, the uh, teenager who hanged himself. And we had the rat. But then there was Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes was Steve. Okay. That's what he called That's himself, cool. and then I asked him for his name. So we all, we, we let them all go with love. And you realize that the Ouija board is how right, right, right. one of them right. came in. What was a dream? What, was, was, in, what was in the neck? Who was the one in the neck? I think that was George. But it wasn't a bad. No, he, he was just. He was. He just didn't feel like leaving at the time. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. So, how's your bladder now? I can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me take the selenite from you. Thank you. All right. My selenite's um flat, like a bark. Yes, I have one of those. Well, your hair is going to be diffused. <laughs> that's what I keep thinking. Unless you don't want it to be. I know, that's why I'm debating. That's okay. So, I am Alba Wyman. I am in Miami, and we just had a very interesting session with Tara. And how far did you drive? An hour and a half <laughs> from West Palm. <laughs> Was it worth the drive? Of course not. <laughs> Yes. It was very worth it. Did you did you figure we'd have a session like this? No. This was totally unexpected. Exactly. Yeah. I answered all the questions. It, he, she, who. It's your higher self. Right. Yeah. You know that this is the voice that, that comes out of you when you sound so wise. You've been doing this all the time. It just came. It just comes natural, out, right? Right. Right. So if you would like a session with me in Miami, you can look me up at albawyman.com. And um, hopefully she'll allow her face to come up. (laughs) (laughs) But if not, anyway, if you want a session with me, I'm in Miami. um, Just look me up on my website and we'll have a session with you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.